Good evening, America. I'm Chad McCormick with the DNN's coverage of the Sucky Russia Olympic Games. And I'm Dante Jack. Where did you come from? I told you it was cold as hell outside. I ain't doing no field reports. Rather be in this nice warm news studio. Do you, okay. Do you want the crew to get you a fresca? No, I'm good. Okay, Dante and I will be giving you a detailed play-by-play -play of today's event, the Dutch Oven Games. In fact, this is the uh, first Olympic Games to feature this event. That's right, Chad. Dutch ovening is actually a very popular pastime here in Sushi, and it was introduced to this year's Olympic Games by Russia's president himself, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Putin. Putin. <laughs> more, more like semen. <clears throat> uh, let's meet today's contestants. First up, from the country of Kenya, Maurice Chepchumba. He said, if this event is anything like the running events, I am not too worried. Let's hope he doesn't have any runs in his pants, though. Our second contestant is from Mother Russia, Abram Benedikov. Abram says he's been training for this event his whole life. His siblings would strongly agree with this statement. And from the beautiful country of Colombia, Juan Diaz. You know, Dante, I think Juan could be our dark horse in this event. What the f did you just say? No, 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 no. I, I mean, like, an, an, an unexpected competitor, a rookie. <clears throat> uh, looks like Maurice is off first. Nice sneak into bed. Now, you see, sometimes contestants let the jitters get the best of them, and they jump in too quickly, thus startling the ref. I agree. Oh, and there is the dismount. The clock has been started. You know, that that was very ambitious of him to raise the leg to let that out. I agree, Chad. That could either be a good or a bad tactic. You see, the movement might startle the ref, but at the same time it provides a larger escape hole, thus a quieter fall. And it looks like the ref has smelt it. 14 seconds. Wow, that is raising the bar high right off the bat. Right off the bat. Up next is Russia's own Abram Veneditko. Oh, wow, he slides in pretty quickly there. You can tell he's been preparing long and hard for this. Wow, he did not worry about the volume of that too at all. In fact, there is even a slight flutter in the blankets. Oh, I don't think I've even heard a fart of that magnitude since it's got to be the winter of 98. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 what? Wait, wait a minute. Look there. I think Abram may have sprayed something into the room. I, I think you're right, Dante. It looks like Abram used performance-enhancing air freshener to to cover the smell of his stain. Mm, shame, shame. Why would you come all the way to the Olympics if you're gonna pull something like that? It looks like, yep, Abram has been disqualified. It looks like Maurice is still in the lead with 14 seconds. Up next is our light horse, uh, Juan Diaz from Colombia. Now it looks like he's a little bit slow to get into the bed, but he got it. Oh, another loud passage. Hopefully it only smells half as bad as how loud that was. Now, if it was me, Chad, in this event, personally, I would probably push my sphincter as close and as hard into the mattress as humanly possible to bury the sound and smell. Well, hold on one second, Dante. It looks like there's some sort of commotion on the field. Juan has a, he has a look of pure terror on his face. Oh, okay. Yep, if I'm not mistaken, Chad, I believe Juan has shat his pants. Oh, what a tragic ending to an otherwise perfect fairy tale. You know, it looks like Juan took a Putin in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> More like an ejaculation. What? <laughs> um, we're going to a quick commercial break while the officials clean up and change sheets. I'm Chad McCormick. And I'm Dante Jackson. And we're reporting live from the Shih Tzu Olympic Games. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> That's nuts.